Hello grade 10 children. Welcome to our English lesson. This is a lesson which focuses on unit 8 of your grade 10 textbook. This is the fourth lesson we are going to study for unit 8. And in this lesson we are going to practice grammar. Let's learn how to use connectives appropriately. Let's start the lesson. Children, connectives are words or phrases that link clauses or sentences. In other words, they are joining words. And once you learn to use them, you can connect phrases together into longer sentences and improve the flow of your writing. Connectives can be conjunctions like but, when, because or connecting adverbs like however, then and therefore. There are many examples for connectives, but let's only learn the connectives which are on page 87 of your textbook. Children, this is the first connective given there. You have the connective while and an example sentence. Let's read it. Singiti likes to have rice for breakfast while her brother likes string hoppers. Children, here the connective while is used to join the two sentences Singiti likes to have rice for breakfast and her brother likes string hoppers. What is conveyed here is Singiti likes to have rice and compared with that her brother likes string hoppers. Children, you can write this sentence in this way too to convey the same meaning. Okay, let's have a look at some more connectives. Look at these four connectives. Though, although, even though and in spite of. Though, although, even though, in spite of are all used to link two contrasting ideas. Contrasting ideas means ideas with unlikeness or differences. Look at this. Although it was raining, we enjoyed the game. We enjoyed the game although it was raining. So here two contrasting ideas are joined. It's highly unlikely that you play an outdoor game in the rain. So although is used to show that unlikeness or difference. You can use though, although, even though and in spite of in this way. Look at these sentences. Here the connectives can be used at the beginning or in the middle of the sentence. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day, although many people miss it. And you can also write it this way. Although many people miss it, breakfast is the most important meal of the day. And then next you have, Mrs. Pereira enjoys preparing pit too even though it takes time. And the same sentence can be written this way. Even though it takes time, Mrs. Pereira enjoys preparing pitto. Look at the next sentence. I do not know how to prepare laddu, though I have tasted it. And you can write the same sentence with though at the beginning. Though I have tasted it, I do not know how to prepare laddu. And next we have in spite of. Some people still prefer to eat fast food in spite of its health risks. Here the same sentence can be rewritten as in spite of its health risks, some people still prefer to eat fast food. Children, after in spite of, we usually use a noun phrase or a gerund, which is the ing form of a verb used as a noun. We played the game in spite of the rain. Or in spite of bad cooking, we finished the meal. Then there's one more thing you need to learn about the connective though. Though can be used in the same way as although, even though, but it can also go at the end of the second phrase. 
This is mostly done in spoken English. We enjoyed the game. It was raining heavily though. Okay, this is the last connective we are going to study today. Whenever. Whenever Riaza goes to the market with her mother, she likes to buy manioc. Or Riaza likes to buy manioc whenever she goes to the market with her mother. Whenever means every time that or any time that. We often use whenever with the present simple. That's why you have goes and likes in these sentences. Okay children, I hope you have a clear idea about the six connectives we have learned today. Now let's do an activity to practice what you have learned. This is activity 8 on page 87 of your textbook. This is the activity. You have to fill in the blanks with a suitable connective from the given list. You can pause the video and do it now. Okay, let's see how you have done it. There are five connectives here. In spite of, although, even though, whenever and while. Let's read the first sentence. I could not find the tin opener blank. I searched everywhere in the kitchen. Okay, can you guess the answer? There are two contrasting ideas here. One is searching for the tin opener and the other one is not finding it. So you have to select the connectives in spite of, though, although or even though for this situation. But in spite of is usually used in a different way as I have explained earlier. So here you can use though, although or even though in the blank. Now the second sentence. Mrs. Pereira visits the nearby fair to buy vegetables, blank, she has time to spare. So here you need a connective to convey the idea anytime or every time. Also you can note down the simple present tense verbs in the sentence. So the answer is whenever. Mrs. Pereira visits the nearby fair to buy vegetables, whenever she has time to spare. The third sentence is, everyone finished the meal, blank, the bad cooking. And here you have a gerund. So you can use the connective in spite of in this blank. So the completed sentence is, everyone finished the meal, uh, in spite of the bad cooking. Next sentence is blank. I have heard about Italian food. I have not tasted it yet. Here also you have two contrasting ideas. So we can use one of the connectives from the three, though, although and even though. And don't forget to start with a capital letter as the sentence begins with the connective. Now the last one, Kumaran ordered dosa blank, Tanusha decided to have noodles. Here what these two children like to have is compared. So it is correct to use the connective while. So you can complete the sentence with the word while. Okay, I hope you got all your answers correct. Okay children, let's do another activity. This is activity 9 on page 88 of your textbook. This time you have to join the pairs of sentences using a suitable connective. You can make any change that is necessary. So pause the video and do it now. Let's check your answers now. Read the first set of sentences. It is difficult to prepare watalappa. Most people enjoy eating it. These two sentences present ideas contrasting to each other. So you can link them using though, although or even though. I'm going to use although to join them. So I can say although it is difficult to prepare watalappa, most people enjoy eating it. 
Now the next set of sentences. Here you have, some people still prefer to eat fast food. There is little nutritional value in it. As you can see, it's again the contrasting ideas. So you can use though, although or even though. Let's use even though and join them. Some people still prefer to eat fast food even though there is little nutritional value in it. Let's check the next. Mother prepared dinner. Father laid the table. How can you join these two? You can use while here. Mother prepared dinner while father laid the table. Next set of sentences is We enjoyed the food. We were not hungry. You can use though, although or even though to join these two contrasting ideas. Let's use although to join them. We enjoyed the food although we were not hungry. Last set is My mother prepares food using finger millet. She has free time. Here we have to use a connective to convey the meaning every time or any time. So let's use whenever to join these two. My mother prepares food using finger millet whenever she has free time. Hope you could get the answers correct. Children, that marks the end of today's lesson. In this lesson, we learned how to use connectives appropriately. We only learned some of the connectives. We'll practice more on this in another lesson. I hope the lesson was useful. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Goodbye.